What is up guys, Commander Alex here, and today I have some Vainglory for you guys. This is going to be from the new update, so that means that we're going to be playing uh, a character that I actually haven't played in this game, and that's Janna. I think that's how her name is pronounced. But basically what she is, is she's a total tank mech, and uh, she has some really cool ranged and uh, flying abilities. And basically, in my opinion, she's the best hero or champion in the game. So what we're going to do right here is just pick up her first ability, uh, which is really cool because it stacks every time you get a hit on a minion or on a monster, you actually end up uh, getting the regen for that a little bit quicker. So you can uh, successively get them quicker and quicker and quicker and power down your enemies pretty quickly. So uh, that's pretty cool. And then the second ability that I'm going to pick up eventually is uh, actually a sort of like jumps stun attack sort of thing. Uh, a couple different heroes have stun attacks, but I, I really think hers is the best because you can hide in a bush, uh, wait for someone to walk by, and then just completely from behind stun them, and then use your uh, your second ability to take them out. So really cool ability right here, and uh, this game's actually going to be a 15, 2, and 4 gameplay, so really awesome. In the update, they also added, uh, now you can get assists, which is really cool, so you can uh, pick up gold for things that uh, you wouldn't have in the past. You can also get assists from monsters, if you were wondering. Uh, but right here, you see, I'm going to go after her. I'm going to use my stun, which is going to lock her down right there. And now it's just going to be my uh, final ability right there to finish her off for 60 extra gold, which doesn't actually seem like that much. But in the beginning of a game, 60 extra gold is actually a lot of gold. So right here, we're going to jump into the stop shop. Jump into the stop. Huh. Anyway, we're going to jump in there. We're going to pick up our uh, second build, which is just going to be some more crystal energy. And we can keep going here. Now, one thing about this uh, champion is that she has... I think it's a she. Uh, she has a lot of health. So basically, you're not going to want to pick up too many defensive items unless you're really getting pounded or unless you're trying to like solo two or three people. Uh, and in that case, your game's probably not going to go well. But anyway, right here, I'm just going to use a uh, pretty mad jump. It looks like I caught one of them out right there. And they're going to be sort of scattered. So I'm going to go after this hero right here. He's going to go down pretty easily. And now I'm going to try and pick up the second kill. Uh, now it looks like I'm not going to get the kill here because she does have a little bit better movement speed than me, uh, but that's alright because I can just send her off with that final uh, ability right there to do some extra damage. Now we can pick up some farm in lane right here, and it looks like she's coming back for some more, so uh, we can uh, definitely oblige that, and it looks like we're going to get her down to basically no health, so um, I'm guessing she's going to have to back or go into the jungle and try and pick up one of the uh, regen minion camps. Alright, so right here... I actually got uh, got a little cocky and I did go down early right there, uh, but that was after picking up a kill, so I'm not too worried, or two kills actually, uh, so I'm not worried about that and I can jump into the game and still be alright. So right here it looks like they're both in lane right there, or at least two of them are, I don't quite know where their third person is. Um, but we're just going to hop in lane here, and I think I can solo two people at the moment just because I'm uh, definitely up on levels and CS, or gold I guess, it's not really CS, but uh we're not going to get into that. Anyway, right here, we're just going to try and uh, do a little jungle gank. We're going to sit in the jungle right here, see if we can wait for him, and uh, pick up a really, really cheeky kill. So he's going to use his jump right there, which means that I can now go in and uh, not have to worry about being stunned. So that's actually just going to kill someone on contact right there. And now we can try and finish this up with uh, our final few abilities. It looks like we're not going to get any other kills, uh, but we definitely scattered their team, and we can pick up some farm in lane right here. So uh, it looks like he's going to try and get a little aggressive, which which is all right, because we definitely have two team members here, and uh, we're ahead by a good lead right now. So uh, I can drop a few abilities here and there, and since I had that extra respawn from the uh, energy battery, I'm not going to have to worry about running out. Now right here, it actually did hit her a little bit towards my, uh, my own, not my character, but uh, my teammate's character. So I was hoping that she was going to pick up on that and actually target down that enemy champion, but it looks like that's not going to happen, and uh, we're just going to try and pick up a turret right here, even though they're still sticking around. So I'm going to be a little bit cheeky here, uh, try and sneak in for a uh, nice little kill right here, but it looks like the, uh, the turret's actually going to pick me up right there, and that's going to be an issue, but their champion was really stupid and tried to solo me, which did not go well for him, so he's going to lose a bunch of health, and I'm basically not going to lose any, and then their other hero is going to try and solo me, and I don't think she actually knew I was there, but it looks like that's going to be an easy kill for me. And it uh, looks like my teammate over there is also going to pick up a kill. So at this point, we're at 4 and 1, and uh, we can pick up some health regen right here. This is a great way great way to uh, sustain without ever having to back. Uh, just get a few kills, then go into the jungle and pick up one of those regen camps to uh, 
you know, regen basically. Anyway, we're gonna go back to the shop right here, but I did decide to pick up some extra gold just because it's so easy to get. And uh, with my abilities and health, I don't really have to worry about taking damage. So right here, we're just gonna finish off that final monster right there. And uh, we're gonna head into the shop with over 1,000 gold. So we can pick up uh, Chronograph right there, and that's going to give us some uh, better attack speed as well as I think some better energy regen. And that's really one of the big things I really like to do is pick up some energy regen because you can always uh, just sustain through a fight and then wait for your enemy to run out of uh, energy. And then at that point, you can obviously finish off pretty easily. Anyway, right here, I'm going to take her out even though I started off and down. And that's going to give me to level 6, which means that I now have my ultimate, which uh, I'll show you in a little bit. But I am actually going to have to back because uh, that minion camp that I took down was not up. So anyway, we're going to back right here. It looks like they're going to try and go after our turret which uh, it looks like they might actually get, but that's not really an issue right now because we can obviously pick up that second minion camp and uh, turn lane around pretty easily. Anyway, right here, all their minions are grouped up, so I might use my jump ability right here and uh, stun him as well as take out some minions. So uh, right now it looks like a good time to use that ability, and as you see, the range on it took him out pretty easily and uh, the damage on it was just insane. So it's a really cool like laser sort of thing. If you guys uh, have played with... No, I'm trying to think of like champions in other games that uh, kind of would relate to that, but really it's it's a pretty unique ability, and uh, it is directional. You don't have to fire it at a champion, uh, but at the same time you can't change it once you're firing it. So uh, you pick a direction and you stick with it. It also has pretty good range, so uh, even if they're out of range of your melee attack, you can still take them down. Although it's uh, best used in the jungle and close quarters, in my opinion. Although that's obviously uh, reach person to decide for themselves. Anyway, right here, I'm going to drop my jump right there. It's going to sun him, but it looks like the turret's going to lock onto me, so I don't want to deal with that, and I'm going to go into the jungle here and see what I can pick up. Now, I uh, did see a flash over there to my right, but I'm not going to try and deal with that. I'm going to try and help out my teammate right here and pick up a really easy kill because he was already down on health by a ton. Also, with this jump, we can get the stun and uh, finish him off pretty easily right there. So that's going to be 90 gold in the pocket, and we can go to the store to spend that. So it looks like we can get a frost burn, which is really just a good overall uh, crystal like ability sort of thing. It, I think it increases power, attack speed, maybe even a crystal regen. I'm not sure the exact stats on that, uh, but it's a, it's a good thing to get on pretty much any hero as long as you're uh, focusing on your crystal abilities. Anyway, right here, we're just going to uh, go ham on this monster and take it out really easily. It looks like they almost tried to steal from me, but we're going to take that, and that's going to be an extra 54 gold. And I've also noticed that hero kills don't actually seem to count for as much in this game anymore. Uh, right here, he actually almost took me out, but I turned things around pretty nicely right here, and I'm going to show you what happens. So I'm going to drop that ultimate right there, take him out really easily, and then my teammates can actually pick up that minion camp, and that's going to not only give us stronger minions, but it's going to give me an extra kill. So that's going to put me at 8 and 1, and we can back right now to get to the shop pretty quickly and pick up the Eclipse Prism, which is going to give me some more crystal damage. Now you'll notice I'm only building crystal with her, and the reason for that is just because she's so strong. Now right there, um, I'm actually going to pick up, it looks like there's an enemy sort of messing around with our jungle, so I'm going to try and stop that, and it looks like my player, or my teammate's player, is a little bit unawares and uh, is going to get chased down right there. So we'll have to see if we can save her, and it looks like uh, we may actually be able to because she's running towards us. So she's going to try and, <laughs> and attack for some reason, probably because the minion camp's right there, but uh, she's pretty squishy, so she's going to have to run away. And uh, now he's going to pop his ultimate without anyone in line with it. So that's going to be a complete fail by him. But I think that we can still chase these guys down. So let's keep going here. Uh, it looks like the abilities are really getting some good hits on him. And the final ability right here is going to finish off uh, their Janna. I believe that's what she's called, but I, I, I really forget at this moment. Anyway, we're going to finish off that hero, and that's going to give us a 9 and 1 score right now. So we're also going to finish this uh, minion line right here. I guess minion spawn would be the correct word. Uh, but we're going to come in right here, take out a few of them, and pick us up some extra gold, which is pretty simple and uh, definitely useful because at this point we are um, down a turret, so we don't want to lose any more and uh, risk losing the jungle. So at this point, uh, he's at level 5 and I'm at level 9, which is it's a pretty big disparity right there and uh, definitely an issue. So what I'm going to try and do is actually draw him into the jungle and see if I can uh, pick up a 
uh, ultimate kill right there. It looks like I'm going to get some hits on the turret, but not too many on the uh, actual character right there. But that's not a worry because uh, we can obviously drop our jump ability right there, get some stuns, and do some damage. Now right here, she's actually going to use her ultimate, which is going to be very powerful, uh, but it's not really enough to do like a ton of damage to me. It's more of like a stun ability. So uh, I'm going to walk away from that with still a good deal of health, and my teammate picked up the kill. Now we can obviously pick up the turret kill right here. It's going to be pretty simple, 300 gold for everyone on the team, uh, which is a lot more than picking up a uh, hero kill, and I think it's equal to picking up a maximum gold payout. So really cool and uh, definitely useful. Now right here, we're going to push this wave in. Uh, since we do have weaker minions at this point, it's going to be useful for us to stay in lane and uh, help out our minions as well as take some kills from the enemy. So it looks like our level 6 little friend over here is going to try and mess with us. So we're going to hide in the jungle and see if we can pick up some cheeky little kills. But before we do that, we want some health regen. So we're going to hop over here and uh, see if we can actually maybe pick up two kills. So I'm going to use my jump and uh, get away from that because I don't want to mess with it. And it looks like we're going to have to go back to lane. So I'm going to wait here, see if they follow me, because if they do, I can obviously take one of them, or possibly even two of them if I had to jump on them. But it looks like they're not actually going to follow me. I was just checking there, making sure I wasn't missing anything. And uh, now I can pick off this monster right here and pick up some extra regen, even though it's a little bit later than usual. Anyway, he's actually going to try and take me now that I have the regen. Really bad move by him, because any damage he does is just going to be counteracted by the regen. Uh, but it looks like they're both going to come out, and now at this point, I'm going to have to use my ultimate, which I missed. Complete fail by me, but it looks like we may actually be able to save ourselves, even though she had that stun and uh, undid a bunch of my abilities. So now at this point, I'm going to pick up that final kill with the uh, cheeky little hidden like ability right there. If you guys didn't know, if you're following someone and they're in range of your ability, even though you can't see them, you can still hit them with the ability. So that's a really cool thing that you can do if you're uh, looking to pick up a really cheeky kill. Or if you're hidden and the uh, enemy is out in sight, but you have enough range to hit them, you can uh, use your ability and charge it up while inside bushes. Now right here, it looks like uh, we're actually having some issues with the lane. And so we did pick up both minion camps, which should definitely help out a lot. Uh, but we want to clean up any of their minions before we uh, head back into jungle or possibly head back in to take out that hero down at the bottom who's trying to uh, take out our minion camp. So it looks like she actually did that. And now I'm going to see if I can run her down. Um, not quite sure where that happened, but I thought that that hit right there was actually the hero. So I'm going to try and use my jump, which uh, kind of glitched out, not going to lie. Um, but that's not actually uh, that's not actually her hitting. That's just the minion spawning. So that's what happened there. Sorry for the little lag, but I am uh, not on the like same side of the world as the server for this game. So it can get a little bit of an issue at times. Anyway, right here, it looks like we can pick up a nice easy kill. Um, she's going to get stunned, but we're not going to get enough damage off on her. So uh, it looks like my enemy or my friendly uh, teammate is actually going to have to pick up that kill for us. Anyway, right here, it looks like we can easily pick up a turret because um, they're basically even minion waves. So uh, if you have a minion mine and if they have a minion mine, then it just kind of equals out and it doesn't matter. Kind of becomes a little bit of an issue for you just because the minions can like do damage to you. Um, but it's not too much of an issue and uh, it evens out in lane, so you don't have to worry about that. Anyway, right here we're going to shove in that wave, but it's going to die pretty easily because he has a hero and the turret defending, so uh, we're not going to have much right there. But right here, I decided to turn around my, uh, my teleport and I'm actually going to try and take these guys on because I do have my whole team right here. So that's going to be one kill right there. We're going to pop our ability again, see if we can pick up a second one. Uh, and it looks like we're actually going to get it with the clutch ability right there. So that's going to be uh, two kills in a row, double kill, and uh, we are now 13 and 1. So uh, let's just go back home. I was sort of messing around with my teleport right there. It is a really cool teleport, like animation. She has like rockets on her back. Really cool stuff. But uh, we're going to be back at home here. Pick up the clockwork, which is just going to be an awesome ability. Not much more to say about that. And then we're going to pick up some uh, really not too helpful level tier one stuff. So uh, not too bad. And now we can pick up their minion camp down there. Pick up some extra gold as well as uh, hopefully start pushing our minion camps in or minion waves in to uh, take out some of their turrets. So I'm going to head down there and see what we can do. Uh, now I did have my jump out right here just in case someone tried to jump me or if I wanted to uh, pick up some extra gold right there. Um, so uh, now we're going to try and take down 
there, I, I guess this is called a Colossus. I'm, I'm, I really can't remember the names for anything in these games. I am sorry, guys, but uh, their, their player is going to try and take us on right here. Really bad move by them because not only do we have the Colossus, because that's what I'm calling it, even if, even if that's not its name, that's what I'm calling it. We have that up right now, so uh, it's not really going to work out well for them, and uh, they're going to lose not only their lives, but they're also going to lose the Colossus, because that is definitely what it is called. It is not called that. Anyway, we're going to uh, jump into shop here, just pick up some extra damage and uh, he hero regen, I think that might be. I have no idea what that what that item was, but uh, we're then going to take out this Colossus and uh, hopefully end the game pretty quickly right here because our minions in uh, lane are equal and it looks like with only three turrets left on their side, it's gonna be a pretty easy win. So right here, gonna use my jump ability pretty soon. Not quite sure when that's gonna happen. Uh, but since I do have my uh, second ability just like powering up so quickly right here, there's really a, no use in doing it because uh, once it gets going, it'll actually go like I think every second or so, sometimes even less than that uh, if you're targeting the same thing again and again and again like that. So really cool ability and it's actually very helpful for taking out high health units like that because you can just sit there and you'll just build and build and build until you can do crazy damage crazy quickly. And uh, speaking of crazy damage, we took off like half of her health in one hit, which is insane. And uh, now we're going to try and take out their minion camp right here, which is going to have no chance. It looks like my uh, jump ability right there is actually going to take like a fourth of the minion camp's health, which again, kind of insane, but uh, not too much of an issue right here because we can pick up some regen and uh, now we can heal up from that fight, which kind of didn't do any damage to us to begin with. Anyway, the Colossus over here is going to town, just taking out these guys, and it uh, looks like they've gone inactive a little bit right here, so we're going to pick up that turret right there, and now we're going to pick up a kill because this guy was really dumb and tried to solo three guys even when he was down, uh, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to take out the uh, free gold over here, and that's going to be an extra 165 for me. Now down here, it looks like uh, one of their teammates is actually doing the right thing and trying to take out the Colossus, which is going to end their raid or their game if, they, uh, if they're if they not careful. So right now, they're both at pretty low health. I actually got killed right here, and the lag from that fight was insane. Uh, but I'm going to bring up the shop right here and see what I can do while things are happening. So I'm going to pick up the heavy pris prism and uh, void battery just because that's what I can afford, and I don't think I'm ever going to have to go to a shop again in this game because it's going to be over very, very quickly. All right, so it looks like... Uh, our teammate over there is actually going to try and draw away their hero, um, which is a really smart thing. If you have a Colossus inside their base, just try to distract him. You don't have to try and kill him. You just have to try and get him away from the Colossus. So uh, right here, I did respawn, which is kind of cool, but at the same time, it means I'm probably not going to have to, or I'm not going to be able to watch the ending uh, too easily. Anyway, that's going to be the game. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and become a lieutenant today. I'll see you guys later.